my best wishes to all the viewers when we are coming thing the class on survey 2 the course derived by the department of technical education examination board course 2 surveying course surveying 2 the, the first unit that is pure light survey in the pure light survey already we have discussed the pure light survey in the previous class now today i am going to discuss let us understand the instrument once again we will discuss about the instrument again and also how to use this instrument is it not i think uh, in the last class we have discussed we have many things about this instrument that is pure light now today i will elaborate it to more and i will explain you how to make use of this and uh, i told you number of times now this instrument is used to measure the horizontal angle and vertical angle and the methods which are being used or applied in measuring the uh, angles is it not today i will explain the application of this instrument is it not little uh, few slides 10 or 15 slides i will explain to you right that is the, uh, the parts and their construction and also the axis fundamental axis and the relationship and the setting up of the instrument and again the how to use this and uh, how to read the uh, 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 angles i will explain you now one by one is it not now we will let us proceed with the pure light now already we have discussed the pure pure light pure light consisting of that is pure light consisting of bubble tube see you can see the bubble tube bubble tube is here it is you can see this bubble tube now this is the bubble tube and you know this is the telescope the telescope now this is this the telescope can be rotated both in x axis and also in horizontal axis and also with respect to the vertical axis the theoretic can the telescope can be rotated on along the y axis that is vertical axis and also with respect to the horizontal axis is not this is the horizontal axis now we can rotate this through the horizontal axis like you know now this is the horizontal axis and also we can rotate this about the vertical axis is not now this telescope consisting of that is that is number one this is the eye piece sorry object glass and this is the eye piece object glass and eye eye piece is it not now in the eye piece we have kept one dark frame it is called it is a cross it, it consisting of cross hairs is and also the telescope has a focusing screw we can to bisect the object the clear object now we can make we can use this that the focusing screw we are calling this as is it not and similarly the uh, vertical circle this is the vertical this is the vertical vertical circle it is attached to the telescope now this vertical circle consisting the vertical circle consisting of the vertical circle consisting of one main plate one main circle that is main plate the main plate is graduated in the x x and y axis and the horizontal axis and vertical axis from 0 Zero to ninety, zero to ninety, and zero to zero to ninety and zero to ninety. Is it not? And this are this consisting of vernier. There are two vernier. That vernier. This is designated as vernier C. The other one is designated as vernier D. That is to magnify the readings. The graduation is very small because it is a compact instrument. Therefore, for magnification. Now this vernier A, vernier C, and D are used to read the vertical angles. Is it not? And similarly, a frame. This is the frame. This frame. Now this is to organize or to assemble all these various different parts. Now this is used. That is the frame. Now some in some textbook we can we, uh, they say a frame because it looks like a from this side. This side. Now in some textbook some people. will call this as u frame because when you look at this in from this direction it looks like u 
somebody will say u frame and somebody will say it is a frame this is not a frame now depending upon their convenience they will call you nothing to worry about this this is the frame it is used to assemble the parts of the theory like different parts of the theory like and you know the another important part of this pure light it is the horizontal circle the horizontal circle consisting of two plates that is one is the lower plate and it is called main plate the lower plate is called lower plate is called the main plate is it not lower plate main plate lower plate and it is graduated from 0 to 360 degree which is graduated from 0 to 360 degree is it not 360 degree and this consisting this again there is another plate called the upper plate lower plate and upper plate there are two plates is it not the upper plate is called vernier plate upper plate is called vernier plate and the lower plate is called the main plate is it not main plate is graduated from 0 to 360 degree and the upper plate is called vernier plate vernier plate is so small divisions vernier a now this is vernier a and vernier b one is vernier a the other one is vernier b and it is again used to this vernier micrometers now these are used to read the values in the circle that is in the horizontal circle for magnification is it not now therefore now these two are consist these two are the micrometers is it not vernier we call this as vernier this is these are used to to read the that is readings in the horizontal circle and this horizontal circle is fashioned in such a way that now these two plates are independent they are fixed in a cup and cone arrangement the one is filled. the lower plate has a cup and the upper plate has a cone the cone is fixed inside and both are both the plates are independent to revolve in the x in in the in the different directions one can move in this direction the other can move in the other direction is not that is how it, this has been fashioned and you know the there are these two plates that is lower plate lower plate is controlled by lower clamp screw this is the clamp lower clamp clamp screw this is called the lower clamp screw and this is the upper clamp screw when you close this lower clamp when you close the lower clamp that is the lower plate is fixed no movement of the lower plate and similarly now there is another another clamp that is upper clamp the upper clamp now here this is the upper clamp and this is the lower clamp the lower clamp is fitted with the lower plate that will control the movement of the lower plate and the upper clamp is another screw which is used it is fitted with the upper upper, upper plate the upper plate movement can be restricted can be controlled is it not this is the upper clamp and this is the lower clamp now we can bifurcate we can recognize this this is the one the lower plate lower clamp and this is the upper clamp and also this lower lower clamp lower clamp and there is another slow motion screw is also attached for the slow motion of the lower plate and similarly that is upper clamp this upper clamp is also attached with the slow motion screw it is called tandem screw is it not okay and similarly horizontal circle and after you now we have another one that is leveling head the leveling head you now this is there are two triangular pieces it is called tri triangular pieces triangle piece there are two triangle plates this is one plate and this is another plate in between this we have fixed there are foot screws these are the foot screws these foot screws are used to level the instrument to make the line of sight horizontal in the beginning is it not before coming commencing the work before using this immediately when the instrument is utilization of using use is started when you use start using the instrument now the first job is first install the instrument is it not first we install the instrument then we can proceed
that I will explain in the next slide. You know, like you know, the another one that is everybody knows that it is tripod. Tripod is used to that is host this instrument or fix this instrument to the required level. Is it not? And then further move to this. Now the same thing I will I whatever I will explain and now in in detail now it is mentioned here in the it is, it is written and shown each and every part. Now this is the physical and this is graphical graphic photograph. Now therefore both the things are shown here. Is it not? Then similarly now further we can move. Now this is further. Now already I have explained. Now this is what you know. The leveling head, leveling head, upper plate, the one triangle piece, the other triangle piece, and in between this we have foot screws. These three foot, there are three foot screws. Now these foot, foot screws can be used to make the line of sight horizontal. Isn't that? And similarly, now again the same thing. Now with some no literature. It is available here, upper plate, lower plate. In the previous class, we have discussed about this. Now you can refer at any time. And also, there is a one, there is a called, now this is the bubble tube. This is a bubble tube to make the line of height horizontal, to make the instrument center, we use this bubble tube. And similarly, already you know, and the other thing, now this is the another part of this instrument, vertical the telescope. Now the telescope is controlled. This is the telescope controlled by a vertical circle clamp screw. This is the clamp screw, vertical circle clamp screw. This vertical circle clamp screw, if you operate this, the moment of this moment of the telescope can be restricted. If you close this clamp, the telescope will not rotate. This will not will move at all. Now this will be closed. Now the I have horizontal, the movement of the telescope about the horizontal axis is controlled by vertical circle clamp screw, vertical circle clamp, clamp screw. And also this consisting of a that is a tangent screw, or we call it as slow motion screw. Now that means the movement of the telescope about the horizontal axis is restricted for the slow motion and for the exact coincidence of the object. Is it not to basic the ob object? And similarly, so like you know, this is about the instrument. Now after knowing the instrument clearly, now these are the again explanation of the, uh, the instrument. In the last class also we have discussed about this. Now these are the various parts. Now uh, I told you that you now this is the bubble tube and this is the that is uh, the eyepiece. Uh, sorry, object end. This is the eyepiece and this is the frame, is it not? Then similarly, now this is the focusing screw. So this is the focusing screw and the again this is the, the micrometers that is, is for magnify these are called magnifiers. This is not to mag magnify the magnify the image. And similarly, now this is the graduations. Now there is some we should understand the every uh, every engineer must understand the reading and the construction of this. So that is horizontal circle. Or how to read these angles in the instrument? The most most important thing. Now, now you now you have to concentrate a little more about this. I will explain this a little later. Okay. Then now see these are these are the graduation. I told you now. This is graduated from 0 to 360 degree. Now this is 350 and this is 360. I think I think you can see the 0, is it not? 0, 10, 20, and then it will come back to 340, 350 and 0. That is 0 to 360 degree. Is it not? Now similarly, now this is the alignment of alignment of that is leveling head, leveling head and this is the tripod and now this is the, this, oh, this is plumb pump, this is used for the purpose of, for what purpose it is used, it is being used for the purpose of centering the 
object that is setting the instrument over exactly over the station centering the object that is to install the instrument exactly over the station that is the transfer the that is y axis y axis and the ground point that is the y, that is the coincidence of y axis and the exact location that is the process is called centering and you know what terms used centering you now the centering is the process of installing the instrument exactly over the station using the plumb box transiting that is transit now the this your light itself is called a transit your light a transit your light transit means that is rotating or changing rotating the instrument through horizontal axis is it not now in the in the earlier days there was there was a control and there was the there was the your light or not uh, no not able to no rotate in the in the x axis but we know the things are made simple the, the technology has developed no therefore no if this can be rotated no this is called transit is it not that is transiting transiting and swinging swing the telescope no this is one transit transiting and changing the phase of the instrument that is a changing change the phase of the instrument transit now see for example now this is the instrument position now this is the normal position of the instrument now that means when the vertical circle of the instrument is to the left of the observer now this is the normal position of the instrument the vertical circle must be always with respect to now that is left side of the telescope to the observer is it not and then see now now this process is called transiting transit and swing now in after swinging what happened now the vertical where is the vertical circle now the vertical circle change to left side to the right side is it not left side to the right side now this is the this this position is called that is the reading or the observations made at this position the observation all those observations are called that is that is phase right observation is it not now suppose if you observe the is uh, observation the reading with, with respect to this position of the instrument now those readings are called phase left observation is it not phase left phase left observation and to change the position of the instrument or to change the that is phase right phase right observation then what we should do now transit swing now the position of the instrument is change from left phase left to phase right this is the phase left of the this is the phase left of the instrument now the position of the instrument and this is the phase right of the phase right position of the instrument is it not now these are the few terminologies used in is it not now this is again i think last class also we have seen this the same thing and again I think we have seen this now. Last class or the last class or the after. That is the face left, face right, changing the face. Now these are the few terminologies, technical terms used in the light survey, isn't it? Not? And then the fundamental axis of the theory light. No fundamental axis of the theory light. No, that is please remember vertical axis. Vertical axis. horizontal axis vertical axis vertical axis horizontal axis then line of sight line of sight that is the line joining it is an imaginary line joining the optical centers of object glass and the ip and its continuation that is called axis of the telescope with it and the plate levels that is horizontal plate in the horizontal plate x axis and y axis now here horizontal axis is it not now and also there is another fundamental axis with respect to the bubble the bubble when this the, the axis of the bubble tube means exactly when the bubble is at the center of its movement bubble is the center of its movement a tangent is drawn 
it draw tangent is drawn to the bubble when the bubble of the bubble bubble is at the center of its movement is it not that position that is that is that axis is called that axis is called bubble axis we are calling that as bubble axis so these are fundamental axis of the pure light so you can see this the fundamental axis of the pure light this is the diagram and this is the actual pure light is it not this is the vertical axis the and this is the line of sight and so this is these are the plate levels axis of the plate level plate levels the another perpendicular axis to this the plate levels the another axis which is perpendicular to this is the horizontal axis horizontal axis or we can call it as pronian axis see that you can see here now this is the horizontal axis this is horizontal axis and also we can call this as pronian axis you can compare this now you can you can uh, you, you can understand clearly if you go through these things is it not then same thing i have explained again here that is the graphical graphical representation of the uh, fundamental lines of pure light then let us understand the temporary adjustment how to install the instrument the setup that is setting of temporary adjustment the temporary adjustment how to make the temporary adjustment of the pure light is it not to make the the first job the first job now there are three stages here the first stage is setting the instrument over the station second stage second is leveling off the third one is elimination of parallax is it not now therefore the first job whenever you go to the field with the, with this instrument the first job first find out a fairly level hard ground select a fairly level hard ground is it not and spread the legs of the tripod then install now make as much as possible that this is tri branch triangular piece of this that is no tripod make horizontal as much as possible you we must make horizontal is it not then because otherwise what is going to happen you know the later no very difficult to adjust the to level the instrument with respect to the foot screws now therefore in the beginning to you at the high level whatever the best you can do it first you level the instrument and level the tripod first level the tripod make the the surface of this tripod surface triangular piece make the horizontal that is make it horizontal then after making this horizontal then fix the instrument over the slot that is screws provided in this both is it not it will fit with this instrument will be fit with the slot which is provided now here between the tripod and the instrument now fix it carefully otherwise it will slip let us be very carefully you have to handle this because it is a costly instrument now let us carefully we have to handle this is it not now the first job now to the eye well eye observation it looks to be that is fair and level now later what we should do now there is a bubble tube that is a is it, there is a what is bubble tube here now with respect to this bubble tube you look at the yeah with respect to this bubble tube with respect to this bubble tube now what we should do the first job now with respect to the bubble tube look at the bubble tube and over the three foot screws now you have to concentrate on these two in this now you while setting up the that is leveling the instrument while leveling the instrument first bring the telescope bring the telescope parallel to any two foot screws bring the telescope parallel to any two foot screws now for example now there are two foot screws here there is one foot screw the other foot screw i will make it level now i do not i will make it parallel to these two foot screws approximately parallel to these two foot screws is it not when you make the parallel to these two foot screws then operate these two foot screws both either inward or outward depending upon the 
movement of the bubble depending upon the movement of the bubble is it not now our object is now to make the bubble to the center of its movement is it not to make the bubble to the center of its to make the bubble up to the center of its movement now you now we have to operate now these two foot screws foot screws these two foot screws operate this either both inside or both outside is it not depending upon the movement of the bubble now later the next stage next stage bring this telescope perpendicular to these two perpendicular to these two foot screws or over the third foot screw is it not over the third foot screw bring the telescope over the third foot screw make it perpendicular to these two foot, foot screws is it not then operate the third foot screw either inward or outward depending upon the movement of the bubble is it not now bring the bubble to the center of its movement bring the bubble to the center is it not now you can see the bubble bubble is here now this is how you are doing it now i think you are doing it is it not now now this is the you make the now again now we have completed the two steps the first step bring the telescope over the two foot screws make the parallel to these two foot screws and operate these two foot screws either inward or outward depending upon the moment of the bubble is it not moment of the bubble tube is it not now after bringing the bubble to the center then make the telescope perpendicular to these two foot screws uh, and or bring it over the third foot screw now when bring it to the third foot screw operate the third foot screw this side or this side outward inward or outward no after this is it not again bring the telescope the sorry again bring the bubble to the center now again repeat this process repeat this process bring back bring back check the bubble if the bubble is center your work is done if not then operate these two foot screws either inward or outward depending upon the movement of the bubble then again bring back the telescope over the third foot screw when you bring back this bubble over the third foot screw look the bubble look at the bubble if the bubble is center we have our job is done is it not if not then again repeat it is it not repeat the process of is it not divide the third foot screw bring the bubble back to the center then bring back again over the first two foot screws parallel to first two foot screws now these two are the first two foot screws now make it parallel is it not make it parallel and operate these two is it not we operate these two and make the bubble to the center is it not then repeat bring the bring it back check the check the bubble if the bubble is center our job is done now repeat this until the bubble should be at the center for all position of the telescope for all position of the telescope bubble must be at the center now it means that the level the bubble, the instrument is level is it not the instrument is level then the next one next one is so i think the, the this is the procedure what i explain now now for the now elimination of parallax that is focusing the object is it not now this is the procedure what i explain repeat this number of time till the bubble reaches to the center bubble reaches to the center then further the another one that is focusing the eye elimination of parallax the elimination of parallax elimination of the parallax first let us understand what is parallax Par parallax is an image apparent image is formed apparent image formed in the instrument 
is it not not exactly that over the that is the object glass is it not no it is the apparent image due to imperfect adjustment of the telescope now that is the parallax parallax is the that is apparent image exactly not image is seen it is movement it is moving it is no if you can if you bisect some object now for example if you have to the if you bisect this when that image is moving around like you know now therefore that is we have to eliminate that is it not that is error in the adjustment of the telescope now therefore what you should do now there are two steps we can do it see now we are focusing the eyepiece that is the point point the telescope to the sky open hold a piece of white paper in the front of the telescope move the eyepiece in and out is it not just hold the piece of paper and move the telescope the eyepiece in and out is it not till you will get the clear image of the is it not we see cross as a seam and similarly the other way that is telescope is now turned towards the object to be sighted and the focusing screw is turned until the image appears unsharp is it not now like you know you have to adjust the telescope telescope should be very carefully adjusted is it not then yeah now this is now we have to understand to very carefully this now this is how this is the construction the, the upper part is remote and a photograph is taken here because the graduations are very small now therefore we can't get the 100% uh, clear picture then i will say i'll try to explain clearly now how it has been graduated is it not now still we have further uh, uh, see now you can see this now you can see this now you can you see this clearly okay you can see this clearly now please now look at this now here 350 and this is 0 350 three fifty plus 10 360 are 0 isn't it 360 are 0 this is the only scale only a scale this is the main plane main scale this is main scale and this is the only scale Understood? Now this is zero here. Now there is there are two vernier here. That is one vernier is here. There are two verniers. One vernier now we are looking. Is it not? We are seeing this one vernier. The one vernier is zero, zero degree. Is it not? Vernier scale is also reach zero, zero zero. Is it not? Now please tell me one is blue, one is reading zero zero. What is other reading? One eighty. Vernier needs so much zero, isn't it? Now this is zero degree in the main scale, zero in the main scale, zero in the Vernier scale. In the other side, one is reading one. The main scale reads one eighty. Vernier scale reads zero, isn't it? That is understood. Now you have to understand the another important thing here. Now see, it is. Zero, ten, and this is twenty. Zero, ten, twenty. Now this is zero, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Is it not? Now let us understand clearly the construction of the graduation mark here. Now here, see you can see this. This is three fifty, and this is zero. That means ten. We are drawn ten ten degree. It is rotation of ten degree. Ten degree means how many divisions are there? You can see this here. One, two, three, four, and five. Can you can you see this? Now this is five. Therefore, now again one, two, three, four, five. There are ten degrees. Is it not? Ten degrees. Ten main divisions. And in one degree, in one degree, see in one degree, how many divisions are there? In one degree, how many divisions are there? Two. That is, is divided into three parts. Am I right? 
thrill of this. Now it is one degree is divided into three parts. Now please tell me what is each part says the word value of each part? Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Understood? Isn't that? Twenty minutes. That is zero. One degree. Suppose if you if you cross one division here, it is twenty minutes. If you cross two divisions here, forty. If you cross three division, one minute. Isn't that? Understood? You see now. You, I think the whole entire that is main plate is the construction. The main plate plate construction is like that. Isn't that? Zero degree, ten. And therefore, from here to here, there are how many divisions are there? Three and each three. Three into ten. Thirty. Then again, from ten to twenty. Twenty. Isn't that? Twenty. Thirty. Thirty. How many divisions are there here? From here to here. Six divisions. There are six divisions here. From in each division, in each degree, there are three divisions of twenty minutes each. Therefore, now from here to here, there are twenty seconds. There are divisions of sixty divisions. How many divisions are there? Sixty divisions. From here to here, today, there are sixty sixty divisions. Sixty divisions. Understood? Sixty divisions multiplied by twenty minutes is equal to how much? Twenty. From here to here, twenty degree. Twenty degree, no? Twenty degree. Each degree is divided into three parts. How many parts are there? So from here to here, how many parts are there? Sixty degrees. Sixty parts. Twenty degree. There are sixty parts. Each part is twenty seconds. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes of sixty parts. Twenty minutes of sixty parts and twenty degree. From here to here, this twenty degree. Got my point? Now there is some technical term. No, the the you you should understand here. That's why I am asking this small question. Is it not? It is a very small question. I am asking you. So it is graduated from zero to twenty here. From here to here it is twenty. That is ten. Three parts. There are three divisions in each. Is it not degree? In each degree there are three divisions. Each division value is twenty minutes. Understood? Now from here to here. From here to here. There are sixty divisions. Okay, out of these sixty divisions, fifty-nine are taken. Out of this sixty divisions, out of these sixty divisions, fifty-nine divisions are taken and divided into sixty parts. Got my point? From these sixty divisions, fifty-nine. This is fifty-nine. Fifty-nine. Fifty-nine divisions are taken, and that that value or that distance, that angle is divided into sixty parts. So that is one year. Understood? Got my point? Got it? Yes. There are six divisions from zero to twenty. Out of these sixty divisions, fifty-nine divisions are taken and divided into sixty parts from zero to. Is it not? Got my point? Understood? From here zero, fifty-nine. I have fifty ninth division it is. Now from here to here, it is divided into sixty parts. That is one year scale. Understood? Shall I go ahead? 
Okay. Now this is Vernier scale. Again, this Vernier scale you graduated from 0 to 20. 20 into 3 divisions. Isn't it? See? 1 division, 20 division, 2 main, and see this this one division is divided into three parts. Three multiplied by 20 is equal to 60 parts. 60 parts means how many divisions here in the main scale? 60 parts in the onion scale. It is equal to how many divisions in the main scale? That is the length. No, this length from here. This 60 parts. 0 to in the only scale 0 to 20, 60 parts. This is equal to how much here? From here to here? 0 to 59. 59 parts divisions are taken from the main scale and that is divided into yes. Understood? The difference between the main scale and the one scale. How the one scale is formed, you know? I think you have studied this in your previous class also. Isn't that? Where? In science. Isn't that? Calipers. You have studied yes. the least count. Isn't that? Now, therefore, now see, now here. Now here, 0 degree, 10 degree. Now this is 1 degree. 1 degree. This is 1 degree. This is 0, 1 degree, 5 degree, and 10 degree. The each division is 20 minutes. Isn't that? Yes. Now while reading this, how to read this? Now let us see in the next slide. Isn't that? How to read this? Got this point? Yes. Shall I go to the next slide? Yes. yes. See this is the other, other side. The earlier was 0 degree, 0 coincidence. The only a 0 is coinciding with the Zero. Main scale zero. For main zero is coinciding with the main scale zero. Main scale zero. Isn't and similarly, now here, when the when zero of the main scale is coinciding with the one year zero, the 180 of the main scale should coincide with what? Zero. Isn't that? Understood? Yes. Next, please. Next, we will go to the next. Okay, now you will look at this. How to read this? How to read? How to take the readings? Isn't it? How to read this? Now, how to read that? How to read an angle? How to read an angle? To read an angle, see. Now, this is mood. This is 180 somewhere here. Zero. 180 is somewhere here. Zero. That is 180. The other side. Or near B or A. 210, then 210, 215. What is the next? Two ten, two fifteen, 215, and another one. 16? Isn't that? Coinciding. Where is coinciding? Zero coinciding that. 216, 216, isn't it? 0 coinciding at 216 degree in the main scale. And now let us look at, let us take, find, where this 20 minutes, isn't it? Now where exactly it is, I think it is coinciding with the 216, then next division, that is 20th. The first division, 20 minutes. In the main scale itself, it is coinciding. In the main scale, it, it is coinciding. It is 0, 215, 216, and the next division in the main scale. Isn't it? Now, therefore, it is, and if we come to the one year, if we come to the one year, if we come to the one year, see, it is coinciding at 14 minutes 40 seconds 5 10 then 14 somewhere here see you see, see you can see the area 
you can play your concert in this now read this now this is from here it is first division from here it is second division now therefore 10 11 12 13 14 14 is 14 minutes 14 14 minutes then 20 seconds then 40 seconds it is written here now therefore in the main scale 216 degree it is going to be it is 200 and isn't it 16 in the main scale this it is zero is coinciding with 200 not coinciding little height of 200 216 216 plus so therefore what is that plus is how much that plus we can read from the Vernier scale now where it is coinciding no it is coinciding here now it is coinciding at 14 degree sorry 14 minutes 40 seconds 0 5 10 14 14 degree 14 degree then second division 1 2 it is 20 plus 20 40 seconds isn't it in the one year the reading is 14 minutes 40 seconds in the main scale it is 200 and 16 degrees, 20 minutes. Now add this to this. The value of the linear should be added to main scale. Now the value of now when the value now the reading of this your light is how much? Reading of the theory light is now 216 degrees. 16 degrees, 34 minutes, 40 seconds. Understand? Suppose See, this is, it is, if it is 14 degree, sorry, 14 minutes, 40 seconds. Suppose if it is in the first, first division, coinciding is in the first division, what is the value? Now, if the coinciding is in the first division, what is the value of this one year reading? 20, 20 seconds, one less, one division less means 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Now therefore, no, therefore, no, this theory light, the theory light, if you go, if you go through this theory light, the least count of the theory light is how much now? The least count of the theory light is 20 seconds. The value that can be read from this instrument is, the minimum value that can be read from this instrument is 20 Seconds. Therefore, we can call it as 20 seconds theory light. Doesn't matter. Understood? Transit theory light. Theory light. Understood? Theory light. Nowadays, we can we have 10 degree theory light also. We have 10 degree theory. That what 10 degree theory light means what? We can read up to sorry, 10 seconds theory light. Doesn't matter. This is 20 seconds theory light. 20 second nowadays we can read up till we have your lights more refined more refined are your lights we have i think we have one in the current polytechnic current polytechnic we have one your light of 10 seconds isn't it that? that is a 10 seconds to your light okay understood can i go ahead then we'll see next we'll see how uh, now See another example, another example. This is another example. See, you can look at this. Can you see the image clearly? Seeing this? Now see, it is 0, 30 degree, 40 degree, 30, 40. Where it is located, where it is going, where, where, is, where it is crossing now? The zero is crossing, zero on the ordinary is crossing the main scale. Well, it is 36 degrees, 35, 30, 35, 36, one division. Isn't it? 36, then in between this somewhere here, it is. Isn't it? Now, 
after one division 36 degree we before going to the 37 degree there are two division now this is crossing the 36 and it is within the 37 now this is now this one zero is lying in the in this location now that location means where it is 30 35 36 20 36 20 isn't it crossed the first division after 36 after 36 degree it crossed one division when it crossed one division that means more than 20 minutes isn't it the value of that reading the value of that position is 20 minutes 36 degree 20 minutes now let us look at the Coincidence of the one year. Where is this coincidence? Where is this coincidence now? No year. From year five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, right? Fourteen, isn't it? Fourteen, and fourteen and. 14 degree. It is coinciding at the 14 degree. Isn't it? Exactly coinciding at the 14 degree. 14. Isn't it? Minutes. Yes. 14 minutes. Now, therefore, main scale 36 degree 20 20 minutes, and in the ordinary scale it is 14 14 minutes. Isn't it? Now, therefore. Now the reading of this position of this instrument is how much? Two hundred and sixteen degree, thirty-four minutes. Do you agree with me? Yes. Right? Then in the previous slide, the value is this much. The value of the in the previous slide, in the previous slide, see in the previous that is in the A side. There are two ordinates, no? Ordinary A. In the one year, year, the reading is two hundred and sixteen degree, thirty-four minutes, forty minus one eighty. Minus one eighty is how much? Minus one eighty gives how much? It is thirty-six degree, thirty-four minutes, forty seconds. Therefore, in the other side, the reading is thirty-six degree. Okay, is it not? So therefore, the average of these two readings, the average, is it not? Now, now in the previous slide, I told you that minus, now deduct, deduct two thousand two hundred and sixteen minus one eighty, is it not? Not deducted. Now it is taken as it is, and then we proceed. But then, in the other side, now we should add one eighty when it is crossed, is it not? One eighty, and therefore, now the average of these two will give the value of. The angle between the two objects is it not? Two locations. The horizontal angle between the two locations. Now my here, my 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 main object here is to understand the construction or the graduations made in the horizontal circle and how it is how and how it is graduated and how to read this. I think I have I have addressed. I think is it not? Understood? Yes. Okay. Next we will go further. Then we will see. Yeah, this is another. This is another example. Another example. This is how much it is? Zero. Zero. Then five. Where is this point setting? So it is crossing five degree. Twenty. That is first division, isn't it? After five degree, there are three division. It is crossing one division. Therefore, twenty. Five degree, twenty minutes. Now let us come to the ordinary scale. In the ordinary scale, it is called coinciding. It is coinc coinciding at this point, isn't it? Now there was zero, one, two, three, four. It is done. Four degree, and the first division in between is four, four and five. In between four and five, there are two division. It is coinciding at first division between four and five. Therefore. One, two, three, four, isn't it? 
जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर मिनट्स फोर मिनट्स ट्वेंटी सेकेंड्स देखोर मेन स्केल रीडिंग इज फाइव डिग्री ट्वेंटी मिनट एंड द वर्नियर स्केल रीडिंग इज फोर डिग्री ट्वेंटी सेकेंड्स देखोर टोटल वैल्यू ऑफ द एंगल इन ऑफ दिस इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज द रीडिंग फॉर दिस पोजीशन ऑफ द इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज फाइव डिग्री ट्वेंटी फोर मिनट्स ट्वेंटी सेकेंड्स सो वी गो यस नेक्स्ट मेजरमेंट ऑफ आर्डर एंड वैल्यू measurement of arda angle like how do you measure the arda angle like how do you measure the arda angle like to measure the arda angle like now let us have some procedure is it not i want to volunteers you please come on board to arrange us any two please no this one let us have one so i want two volunteers board of pallin the arranging rod one arranging rod and the other arranging rod come here No, I will explain you how to measure the arc angle. How to measure the arc angle? Let's explain. I will explain you how to measure the arc angle. Understand? Now this is how we we have to measure the arc angle. First, let us. The first job when you want to measure the arc angle angle between the A and B. Now there are two objects. Our one object is at A and the other object is at B. How to measure the arc angle angle between this is A O B? How to measure the arc angle angle? To measure the arc angle angle, what is the process procedure is to be adopted? That's it, man. Now let me tell you. I will explain you exactly. You please concentrate on this. Now first job. Install the instrument. Install the instrument over the station. From there, you need to measure the arc angle angle between the objects. Is it not? Install the instrument exactly over the station where you need to measure the arc angle angle of the objects. Is it not? The first job. After installing the instrument over the station O, over the station O. Over the station wall. Now level the instrument with the temporary operations. This is done with the leveling of operations. What are the leveling of operations? The leveling of operations are number one, first job. This is done. Level the instrument. Bring the telescope over the two foot screws and operate those two foot screws either inward or outward. This is done. Inward or Outward, make the bubble to the center of its circle. Then bring the telescope over the third foot screw. Then operate the third foot screw inward or outward. Then make the make the bubble to the center of its circle. Isn't it? The first job is done. Now look at now look at the values where it is the arc angle circle. Now look at the after making the bubble center. The instrument is level, is it not? Now the first job. Now, with these two, with the over the lower plate, we have to measure the angle. We have to measure the horizontal angle. Horizontal angle means horizontal plane. No, we have to measure the horizontal angle. To measure the horizontal angle, over the mean horizontal angle between the two objects. Now, what we should do? Oh, that is with respect to horizontal circle, is it not? The arc angle circle. Now, what the first job we should do? See, now make the vernier vernier to read zero. Make the vernier to read zero. Make the vernier to read zero over these these two foot screws, lower clamp screw. Sorry, lower clamp lower clamp screw and upper plate clamp screw. Lower plate clamp screw and upper plate clamp screw. Using these two, now. First, close the lower clamp screw. Close the lower clamp screw. Then move the upper clamp, upper upper plate. Rotate the upper plate. Bring the vernier of the upper plate. Bring the vernier zero of the vernier to the main scale zero. Make the vernier vernier to read now. 
one year to live zero and zero zero coincidence. Close the lower plate, lower plate is fixed. Then move the upper plate with respect to lower upper clamp and bring the vernier zero to coincide with the main scale zero. Main scale zero. Now the vernier zero is coinciding with the main scale zero. Now close both. Now the position of the instrument. Instrument is level. Instrument is level. Now the vernier A reads. Zero and zero, one and B needs zero and one eighty, and both the clamps are closed. Both the clamps are closed. Now unclamp the lower plate. Unclamp the lower plate. Unclamp the lower plate. Unclamp the lower plate. Turn the telescope. Turn the telescope. Rotate the telescope and bisect the object. You can bisect the object. There is an object. A. You can bisect. You can bisect the object A. Now this is the object A. Where you can see the object A, is it not? Now, now bisect the object A, and with the tangent screw, with the tangent screw, make the exact bisection of the object, is it not? Object exact bisection of the object with the tangent screw. Now this position. The instrument is level. The vernier A reads zero. Vernier B reads zero and one eighty. And the telescope is directed to the object A. And both the clamps are closed. Both the clamps are closed. Now open the upper clamp. Open the upper clamp. Open the upper clamp. Open the upper clamp. Rotate the telescope. Rotate the telescope and bisect the object. Bisect the object B. Bisect the object B. Rotate the telescope and rotate. Bisect the object B. Bisect the object B and make the exact bisection of the object B over the tangent screw. Is it not over the tangent screw? Now. The lower plate is fixed. The upper plate is rotated. Upper plate is moved from zero to the angle A O B. Angle from this subject to that subject. Understood? The lower plate is fixed. The upper plate is moved from A to B. Is it not? Now the value of the movement. This movement. Now the telescope passes like this. Now move to the object B, and this is the angle. Move the telescope move through an angle A O B. Is it not? Understood? Now read both vernier's. Vernier A and vernier B. Vernier, vernier example. Vernier A reads zero to the angle. Let us assume it is twenty-five degrees and twenty-five degrees. Then one year B, how much is one eighty plus one eighty plus how much? How much is more? One year A is moved from zero to twenty-five degrees. One year B moves how much? One eighty plus twenty-five degrees. The reading is is it not recorded? Now with the Now what you should do now after this doing this now change the face of the instrument change the face of the instrument that is turn this the sphere like and swing over the lower clamp is it not now change the now change the position of the instrument is it not change the position of the instrument mean bring the vertical circle to the Left of the observer, okay, man. Now earlier we did, we have done this with what the vertical vertical circle, right side. Now we have changed the face of the instrument, changed the face of position of the instrument. Bring the vertical vertical circle to the left side of the observer, and now repeat this process, isn't it? Now 
repeat the process that means make it again zero both vernier zero horizontal plate and the lower plate and upper plate must read zero vernier a read zero vernier b read zero and 180 then over the lower clamp turn the telescope to the object a turn the telescope to the object a now close the lower clamp close the lower clamp is it not now the position of the instrument is face flat observation instrument is level the vernier reads zero is it not vernier a reads zero vernier other vernier reads 180 degree this is the position of the instrument and both the clamps are closed now i will open the upper clamp upper plate i will open the upper plate i will open the upper plate open the upper plate and turn the telescope by set the object b by set the object b now the telescope is moved by set the object b when and make the exact bisection of the object with, with the clamp tangent screw is it not now the telescope is moved from moved from object a to object b now the horizontal circle upper plate that is one plate moved from zero to the angle zero to the angle zero to the angle a o b zero to the angle a o b understood got it now this is the procedure no no there are how many readings are there now face type observation one year a and one year B. Then face rate observation, face rate observation, face rate observation, one year A and one year B. How many readings we have now? A O B. A O B. How many readings we have now? We have four readings. The average of these four readings gives you the value of gives you the value of <laughs> Okay, understood. Got it. Do you have questions for me? Do you have questions for me? No. No. Thank you very much for you all. Now we will continue day after tomorrow. Isn't that? Thank you very much. Thank you a lot.